Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, as part of pair of straight lines, we will look at the condition that needs to be satisfied by a second degree general equation to be a pair of straight lines. We look at this example, we have been asked to show that 10x square minus 18y square plus 3xy plus 6x minus 45y minus 28 equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines. First, let's look at the general equation of second degree equation. Second degree equation general, let us say what it is. It is nothing but ax square ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. This is a general equation of second degree equation. This is a general second degree equation. Then what is the condition that needs to be satisfied by this? to become to represent a pair of straight line that condition is abc plus 2fgh we are not looking into the derivation of this if you are interested in the next session we will be doing that derivation we are looking at example now abc plus 2fgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square equal to 0 if this condition is satisfied then the general equation represents a pair of straight lines. So let us compare whatever is given to us with the general equation, standard equation. We will write down 10x square plus 3xy minus 18y square plus 6x minus 45y minus 28 equal to 0. Now we can compare these two equations and we can find out the values of ABC very easily. So let us go ahead and find out that. We will write down A equal to comparing A equal to 10. I can compare A 10 here. 2 H is 3. B is minus 18. 2 G is 6. 2f is minus 45 and c is minus 28. So let us go back and write that a equal to 10, 2h equal to 3, b equal to minus 18, 2g equal to 6, 2f equal to minus 45 and c equal to minus 28. So these are the values what we got. Now we can substitute in the condition what is the condition we have? Let us write down the condition. The condition says, can I multiply this whole thing with, uh, four, with uh, 4? I will tell you why I am doing that. Then it will become 4 ABC. It does not make any difference because on the right hand side is 0. How many times you multiply whatever the number, it will not make any difference. So I can write down 4 8 ABC plus 8 FGH minus 4 AF square minus 4bg square minus 4ch square equal to 0. Now why we are doing that? Because for the ease of calculation, we just want to, we see 2g, 2f, 2h. If I multiply them, it will be 8fgh and we have only 2fgh here. I do not want to go back and find out each g value, f value so that it becomes fractions and it will be a little bit difficult to do that. This will be a little bit easy way of doing it. So let us go ahead and now substitute the values. So 4 into a that is 10 into b that is minus 18 into c that is minus 28 plus 8 f g h. 8 f g h is equal to 2 g into 2f into 2h. So I can go ahead and write down that 2g that is 6, 2f that is minus 45 into 2h that is equal to 3 minus 
4 a f square here we have to be careful 4 a f square is nothing but equal to you see we have 2 f there we have 2 f here if you square 2 f that is 4 f square so can i write it as a into 4 f square so i'll go back and write down minus of a into 4 f square first a then afterwards 4 f square so it will be minus of a 10 into 4 f square that is nothing but 2 f whole square so can i write down minus 45 whole square afterwards minus b into 2 g whole square you should have understood by this time if you have a small doubt i'll write down the steps there what i'm writing here this is nothing but a into 2 f whole square similarly this is b into 2 g whole square this is c into 2 h whole square so that way it will be easy for us to finish it fast so we have written minus 4a f square minus b into 2g square b is minus 18 so it will become plus 18 into 2g whole square that is 6 square afterwards minus c into that is nothing but plus 28 into 2h whole square 2h is nothing but 3 3 square this should be equal to 0 if this value is equal to 0 then the given second degree equation general equation represents a pair of straight lines so now this is a little bit of calculation let's go ahead and finish this we'll finish it fast 4 into 10 is 40 40 into 18 is 720 720 into 18 is 20160 you can check that numbers are generally my friends they won't be deceive me then 6 3s are 18 18 45s are 8 10 then 10 into 45 square that is minus square is plus 45 square is 2025 into 10 that is 20,250 after that we have plus 18 into 6 square 6 square is 36 36 18s are 648 plus 28 into 3 square 28 into 9 is 252 you can simplify that you will obviously get zero i'm sure about that let's cross check that suppose twenty thousand one hundred and sixty twenty thousand two hundred fifty they are near to each other the difference is minus you add them it will be minus 90 so this whole thing will become minus 900 and this whole thing will become plus 900 minus 900 plus 900 is 0 so the point we have to understand is for a second degree general equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 if it has to represent a pair of straight lines then the condition that needs to be satisfied is abc plus 2fgh minus of af square minus bg square minus ch square equal to 0 so if you have been given a second degree general equation you can go ahead and try to find out what are the values of a b c and g and f and h after that substitute in this particular condition and check whether it's equal to 0 or not if it is equal to 0 then it represents a pair of straight lines in the next session we will see the derivation for this by taking the second degree general equation and prove that abc plus 2fgh is actually equal to af square plus bg square plus ch square in in case of second degree equation so thanks for your time and support i'll catch you in the next session bye for now till then keep smiling and sharing life is short